All right, boys and girls, Thursday's homework. You're going to reread and answer questions four through five. The questions are not on here, um, but if you go to Tuesday's homework, you should have the questions four and five there. And then also uh, for yesterday's, same thing as you as you did yesterday when you answered questions one, two, and three. Okay, so we have New Acadia. John was learning about Cajun history at school. Since he was a Cajun himself, he knew that Cajuns had settled in southern Louisiana over 200 years ago. His dad said that their family could be traced back to Joseph Blanchard, who arrived in 1765. Cajun comes from the word Acadia, the region in Canada where the Cajuns lived under the British, un, until the British forced them to leave, Mrs. Lafayette told the class. John asked, why did the British force them to leave? Britain was fighting France for land that the Cajuns lived on, and the Cajuns spoke French. Mrs. Lafayette explained, the British assumed that the Cajuns were French and concluded that they were enemies. When the war was over, Britain had won Acadia. The Cajuns couldn't go home, so they went to Louisiana to, just to establish a new Acadia. The Spanish helped by donating free land and supplies. Traveling to an unknown wilderness sounded like an adventure to John, but Mrs. Lafayette said that the early days weren't easy. Many Cajuns died of smallpox and other diseases, and it was difficult to grow their crops in the new climate. Bringing their language, music, and food to this unfamiliar land made the Cajuns feel more at home. When John got home from school, his mom was in the kitchen. She was making gumbo, a Cajun stew full of crawfish, okra, and spicy sausage. It smelled good, and John knew it would taste delicious. As Mrs. Lafite had said, food was an important part of Cajun culture. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and uh, reread and answer questions four and five. Okay, for the second part of homework, excuse me, you are going to choose 10 to complete. Okay, so go ahead and choosing 10 to complete. These are addition. So I'm going to go ahead and do number 10 as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and look to see that everybody has a partner. If they don't, I'm going to go ahead and add a zero. So we have eight plus seven. Eight plus seven is 15. So I'm going to put the five here and I'm going to put the one in the tens. Okay, then we have six plus three. Six plus three is six. Seven, eight, nine plus one is ten. I'm gonna put the one in the hundreds and the zero down in the tens. Then five plus one is six. Don't forget your one up top. That's seven. And then two plus zero is two. So your sum should be two thousand seven hundred five. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and choose nine more or ten. If you're doing a different one than I just did. Okay. And that is your homework for we are on Thursday. Okay. Thank you, boys and girls.